Another thing I want to cover that is related to layout is the concept of sections. Right now, our layout file works like this. So imagine this is the layout file. We have a render body over here. And like I mentioned before, this is like a placeholder where the views will be rendered to replace this placeholder. So this first view will be rendered over here. The second view will be rendered over here as well, and so on and so forth. But as you noticed, this is just one section in the entire body of the layout file. What if we want to have another placeholder, right? Another section. So for example, on the top, I have another div and I want to specify a placeholder here so that some part of the view in each one of these view files will come into this particular placeholder. A good example is a header. I can define a header region in the layout file and each view may have different header contents. When they are linked together, the first view's header contents will go into this placeholder and the second views header content will also go to this placeholder when we try to render the second view. And of course, the rest of the content will go to the body placeholder over here. Fortunately, SP.NET Core MVC provides this type of functionality and that is called section. Let's jump into Visual Studio and go ahead and implement that. So here in the layout file, if I use a div to surround the render body method, then I can add another div and inside this div, I'm going to put a section. So to do that, instead of render body, I'm gonna say render section. And this function takes a parameter that is the name of the section. So I'm gonna create a title section. And then for this div, I also want to apply a padding. Let's say padding at the bottom, size is number three, so that there is a gap between the title and the body. So then let's go into each one of the views that we want to use the title section and let's go to home page. So we want to render this into section. Of course, we don't need the line break anymore because we added the padding. So here we just want to say add sign section and then we just need to specify the name of the section. After that, I just want to put a pair of curly braces and then move the content that I need to render in the section inside the curly braces. And with this change, the welcome to home message will be replacing the section placeholder. And the rest of the HTML will be replacing the body placeholder. So the same thing needs to be done in other pages. Here, I wanna say categories, and it's gonna be H3 instead of H1. So let's keep this one without using the section. And let's run the application and see what happens. You can see immediately it throws an error. It says that the layout page cannot find the section title in the content page edit.cshtml. So when we specify the section like this, it means that this section is a required section. All of the views will have to use the title section. So let's go to edit and put our section over here. And let's move this HTML inside. So with this change, we should be able to run the application. And now you can see everything works like before. We can't tell any differences, but we are actually using the section. So how do we specify a section that is optional? This render section method has another signature, which specifies the second parameter to tell whether the section is required or not. So if we don't want all the pages to use this section, then we can specify false. By default, the required parameter is set to true. Let's keep it as default so that we can use title section on all of the views. This seems to be not very useful, but if you have something that you want to place above or below or as the background of the section, then you can just specify in the layout view, you don't have to specify that in every single view. For example, if I just want to add a HR element, then all of a sudden, all of the pages will have this HR element displayed. Okay, that's everything I wanna cover in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.